Yo guys, uh, Vin again. My name is Vincent. This is where we get to talk about Martha's Medical in the simple language which we can always understand and the benefit from. Kindly, if you have not subscribed to our channel, I want to encourage you to subscribe because that is the only way in which you can always uh, get this knowledge which we use, we, we share here and we use it and apply it in our daily life. Today we are going to talk about endocrine system. Endocrine system, endocrine system, depending where you come from. So endocrine system is a complex network of glands and organs that produce and secrete uh, hormones. Uh, so chemical, and normally when we talk about the hormones, we are talking about the chemical messengers that uh, regulate the various physiological processes in the body. So uh, when we talk about the endocrine system, we are talking about hormones being involved and the organs which uh, secrete or produce them in the body. And normally hormones are chemical messengers that regulate the various physiological processes in our body. These hormones travel through the bloodstream to target uh, uh, tissues and organs where they exert their effects by binding to specific receptors on the cells. And uh, I'm going to give an uh, explanation of key components and functions of the endocrine system. Number one is about uh, when we talk about glands. The endocrine system consists of several, several uh, glands, including the hypothalamus. When we talk about the hypothalamus, it's located on the brain. And uh, the hypothalamus serves as a, the control center for the endocrine system. So it produces uh, uh, releasing and inhibiting hormones uh, that stimulate or inhibit the secretion of hormones from the pituitary uh, gland. And when we talk about the number two about the pituitary gland, we're talking often referred as the master gland. The pituitary uh, gland is located at the base of the brain. It secretes a variety of hormones that regulate uh, growth, the metabolism, reproduction, stress response and among other functions and when we talk about the thyroid gland we are talking about it's located at the, on, the, the, on the neck part of it so this is where it produces hormones that regulate metabolism basically and, uh, the, and the, when we talk about metabolism we are, we are talking about energy production and the growth that is the work of the thyroid gland also we have adreno, adrenal glands situated on the top of the kidneys the, the, uh, the kidney uh, part of it. The adrenal glands produce hormones such as the cortisol, which is involved in stress response, adrenaline, which is, invo in, which is involved in fight and also flight response. Also, we have the pancreas. The pancreas produces the, the very important uh, uh, hormones, where, which you call insulin and also glucagon, hormones, hormones that regulate the sugar levels. Uh, and the metabolism. Also we have gonads. These include the ovaries in the females, testes in the males which produce sex hormones such as the estrogen and also uh, testosterone which are involved in reproduction and uh, uh, development. When we talk of the hormones, part of it, hormones are chemical messengers that are secreted into the bloodstream. They act on target cells or organs located throughout the body, exerting specific functions such as metabolism, growth, development, reproduction, mood, and stress uh, response, among other functions. Examples of hormones produced by the endocrine system include the insulin, thyroid hormones, cortisol, estrogen, testosterone, and the growth hormone. On the part of uh, uh, regulation by, the, by this endocrine system, the endocrine system is tightly regulated through a system of feedback loops. So hormone levels are constantly monitored by the body. And when levels deviate from the desired range, signals are sent to the glands to either increase the de or decrease the secretion or the production. So for example, if by, by the hypothalamus releases hormones that stimulate or inhibit the pituitary gland secretions of hormones which regulates the secretion of hormones from other, other glands. So number four is about the integration and uh, with the nervous system. The endocrine system works closely with the nervous system 
to coordinate physiological processes and maintain homeostasis. While the nervous system operates with electrical, electrical signals uh, transmitted by the neurons, the endocrine system communicates through the release of hormones into the bloodstream. The hypothalamus and also the pituitary gland uh, serve as the key intermediaries uh, between the two systems. So receiving signals from the brain and transmitting hormones uh, signals to the, throughout the body to, to execute a specific function. Overally, the endocrine system plays a vital role in regulating numerous uh, physiological functions and maintaining the body internal balance. So disruption or imbalances in hormone levels can lead to various health problems and disorders. So highlighting the importance of proper functioning of the endocrine system for overall uh, well and a healthy being is a very important case. So the endocrine system is very important in our body because it, uh, it, it, it does a lot of uh, marvelous work in our body to make our body function very well. So guys, that's about endocrine system and kindly uh, give your feedback on the on the on this uh, and also if you have any question give it in the, the down comment below we can get uh, you responded to guys i want to welcome you the channel is nasvin and kindly if you have not subscribed we have a video every day here kindly i want you to subscribe and also watch we want to those watch hours we want to take this channel to the next level guys so guys we are on uh, tiktok Nazvin, we are on Instagram. Nazvin, we are uh, we are on on other pl platforms also on YouTube. Here we are on YouTube. That is also where uh, with the name Nazvin there. My name is Vincent, and I want to welcome you to our next video. Peace, guys, and we love you very much.